Alright, because I was given permission, I'm going to keep playing this song for a second. Alright. Uh, so, met this girl at work. She's rapping. We always represent our local artists, you know. So we're going to give a shout out to Pretty Pain. Uh, we'll try to put the tag in this for her. I will do my best. Alright, I'll send you the link. Yeah. And uh, we'll tag her in it, and uh, I'll send it to her when we tag it. Nice, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. she wanted me to send it in there, put it on the comments and everything. So. Yeah. Oh, man, then shouldn't we talk about something more interesting than Star Wars? No, it's fine. It's fine. Because the thing is, we, we're, whatever fan base we get, they're going to like us for us. Just like they like her for her, you know? So we'll figure that out then. All right. Well, we just talked over all that. Oh, yeah, but I just they didn't, didn't even get to hear it. I just wanted to hear the beat. That, that's the point, though. I want them to go oh, check, yeah, go it, check out. it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us what you think. Um, <coughs> they heard the little beat, I'm sure, at the beginning. Is it a dog? Is it a panther? <laughs> I didn't even say that part because I was like, I'm off, so I'm just going to not. Welcome back to the Bear Thing Show. Um, today, as we promised you last week, we are going to talk about Star Wars. We gave you the Mark Hamill spiel. Uh, again, that didn't work. No, that did not. Again, go to the charity event, and if you if you happen to donate, which I'll try and put a link for that too. Yeah, in last the, week's and this week. I was say do it on both, and uh, we'll. Uh, yeah. Unless it's ended. If you win, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah. But uh, if it ended, uh, I'm sorry, but if it hasn't, put a charity in, and uh, I'm sure it goes to a good cause. Most charities do, and even if you don't win, hey. He's yeah, I think it's a charities. charity Mark Hamill picked, so I, I believe. Yeah, I believe he'll be good. And on top of that, not even not even with that, um, I think you can technically write charities off. So if you are a, if you own business mm -hmm. of your own, yeah, whatever tax write off. You put, whatever, yeah, whatever money you put in there, tax write off. Boom, there you go. So win or don't win, it's kind of a win-win situation. Situation. Yeah, no matter what. Yeah, yeah it's a win-win situation. I'm gonna write it off. Yeah, why not? I'm like two feet away from this. Aren't you supposed to be good at basketball? Dude, I'm great at basketball, okay? <laughs> the difference is the hoops up here. Exactly. It's 10 <laughs> feet in the air, right? It's not down here. What is this? I'm not playing, uh, what is that, cornhole? Cornhole, yeah. <laughs> I suck at that game. Yeah, cornhole. Oh, Star Wars. What? No, was, what did you got? <laughs> I was going to be like, so I went and played uh, disc golf with yeah. Semi Pro the other day. Oh, dude. Uh, his name is Mike. Uh, not giving you his last name, but he wouldn't mind it, I don't think, anyways. But Mike, he's awesome. Uh, I'm trying to go pro right now. Yeah. Uh, he's about to join a circuit this January. He's going to, he's, uh, you said he had another competition coming up last yeah, time you told me about that's, him. That's the January. This is the circuit yeah. that he's joining. And, uh, they play like three different courses, so. I'm, I think that it would be really fun to sponsor him. That's what I'm saying. So, guys, bring us money. I'm <laughs> so, give us some money so we can sponsor a disc golf player. Because, like, doesn't that just fit? That you've never heard of in your life. But, no, doesn't that just fit us? <laughs> that it's like, what on earth is this YouTube channel <laughs> that these guys talk about those nerdy crap and they're like, yeah, we sponsor disc golf. <laughs> <laughs> the most. After we gave a shout out to a rapper. Like, here's lo a local rapper. And uh, here's a local semi-pro like disc golf player. If you look at our music, it's like we definitely listen to everything. I mean, mine is I don't think we've, we've given a shout-out to any classical artists, but there's no local classical artists or... That we know. Yeah, that we know of. Because we don't just shout-out to people that are in the area. Like, I know plenty of bands that are in the area. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Man. That almost got my hook. Yeah, it did. But it didn't. So it it's did. all good. Uh, um, but, yeah... Dude, so, yeah, so like we should try and sponsor a disc golf player, whatever that means. What I'm thinking for, again, as I said earlier, is a disc with the Bear Thing logo on it. That'd be great, but I don't know how much that would cost. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we just got, the part that's going to be expensive is the plastic. Because it's right. apparently like F and G and then like A grade and like all these different grades of plastic that you need to use mm -hmm. for it. We would want ours to be his driver. Yes, and uh, he, he primarily uses mid-range drivers, so we could try and make ours mid-range. Yeah. And uh, he uses... I'm going to bleep myself because I can't actually say the name of the company because otherwise we Yeah, no, don't worry him. about it. But he uses this particular company brand because he likes their disc. So if we make something closer to theirs, yeah. there we I go. I don't know how what process we'd have to do to do this. I can look that up. But we should I figure it out because it would be a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It would be, be a lot of fun to sponsor then, a disc if, golf player. Even if he does, even also, if, to see Bear Thing on, on a, a disc. disc somewhere. Because <laughs> like, think about it. Even if he ends up staying just semi-pros, that's still a lot of people who are looking at him. And you can be like, they'd be like, oh, what disc are you using? It's 
bare thing. It's like, that'd be dope. Mm -hmm. So, sponsoring and... Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. And uh, speaking of Bear Thing, uh, he's doing pretty well. I talked to him a couple weeks ago. Yeah, he needs to hurry up and show up on the show. Like, this, at this yeah. point, it's almost going on a year? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, the war in Yemen hasn't died down. He's in Yemen? Yeah, I told you that. Oh, I didn't know that. He's been fighting in Yemen for, like, nearly a year now. <laughs> it's been pretty rough. Well, he's doing gets, okay, though. When he gets back, I guess we'll keep holding the fort until he gets here. Yeah. I can't uh, wait to see him. Eventually, you guys really, like, we may sound like crazy psychopaths, but there really is a bear thing, and he will eventually be here. <laughs> well, duh, there's a bear thing. Well, the thing they've is... Seen the, they've seen a photo of him. That was a graphic photo of him. Like, yeah. it, it, it could, we could have easily just doctored that ourselves. Oh, like, just made up something? Yeah. Yeah, no, he's real. He's but, real. That's a portrait. Yeah, it's actually a really good portrait. I like that. Yeah. Um... Which I also think one day we should have those full t-shirt, full print t-shirts. You know what I'm talking about? Where like the sleeves, the whole thing is, is the design. Yeah. And then have bear thing on the center with all the weird crazy colors. The weird colors. crazy swirls and everything. Wouldn't that be on? so dope? Yes. Yeah. Then we can actually start wear wearing like shirts uh, when we're doing this show. I'd wear something like that. I'd wear it on the show. I would wear it outside the show, of course, too. But I would wear it on the show for the simple fact of like, now you know what our actual thing is. But then we also still need to make the uh, fighting insects shirt. We fighting still, insects. Fighting insects. We still need to make the fighting insects shirt <laughs> as well. Like, how would that shirt, would there be the size on it or would it just, just be the words? Can we make the word, the, fir the first one, out of insects? <laughs> like, crawl together and make it the word? Yeah, shouldn't it be, like, some, like, karate dude doing a kick and then there's, like, a, a praying mantis that he's fighting? <laughs> a giant praying yeah, mantis. Yeah, like, it's a few, a few different, like... Insects, a few different types of insects that he's like karate kicking into him. <laughs> okay, yeah. Like, I mean, don't even have words. Dude, I watched the show. Right? Like, don't even have words. <laughs> just have a fighting, dude fighting insects. <laughs> what would the bet be? Or is it going to be. Bear Thing Show. Would it be like. <laughs> the back would just insects, say Bear Thing Show. Fighting insects. Like. Well, the back has go? to be words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we can. Well, I like, don't think like I, I don't think it would be appropriate it'd to put be an too image obscene. Of, of fighting insects. <laughs> um, but fighting insects works. Well, I think the back should just say bear thing show or something. Okay. Something lame, or maybe just put it on the sleeve. And then keep it like because it's it's the whole put it, it's a pun, so like a wordplay. Mm -hmm. So I guess yeah, it'd be better to not have the other one. If you know what we're talking about, you know what we're talking about. Right. Exactly. It's funny in itself. And that's only if you watch the first episode. For those of you who've never watched who, the first episode. And no one will ever <laughs> watch the first episode. So they will never it get has this the joke. least views out of all of the episodes. <laughs> episode one has like three views. And then the average is like 15. Okay, then Or yeah. nine. <laughs> the average is like nine views. And then the first one has like none. Then we're definitely going to have to like... <laughs> so it's like... There's the, that's, we're going to make that shirt. inside joke ever. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to buy that shirt. <laughs> we're like, what the hell is wrong with these guys? I mean, unless right. it's just funny on its own. Wait, statement. wait, wait, time, time-wise. Oh, I got? forgot to put a timer on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just go ahead and, uh, I'll, I'll set five minutes, how about that? Yeah, all right, so we got five minutes of Star Wars. Huh? No, <laughs> no, we'll, we'll just figure it out. Hold on, let me just look. But well, we look. told them last episode. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we still have 20 minutes. Did you not start this? <laughs> no, it's going. Oh, it's going, but remember, we, we can record longer so we've been, oh, right. we've been going like eight or nine minutes okay right we can record longer than what we do we just do 15 minutes now and it's because a special. it seems a lot more digestible yeah people. and it's special so we can go a little bit longer on the specials but so i guess i guess we're, we'll go ahead and start the 15 minute timer now yep all right so we're gonna start with star wars because we promised you guys this week that we'll talk about star wars and i would like to at least <laughs> hold to our word one time <laughs> like we do normally dude do, how do about brady Oh my god! I didn't watch this week. Yeah, how about the fact that like apparently he's been sucking it up these last few Dude. days? Dude, <laughs> it's been awful. It's been so bad. Like, like what happened? We barely won. What happened? We barely won. Like, uh, is, is he, we're relying on our defense, and he's home. Like maybe, maybe that's the thing. Maybe he's doing his underdog thing, his underdog tactic. Where everyone last time that he won the Super Bowl was like, "Dude, they're not doing that good." Look at Brady; he's washed up, and then he shows up and becomes liquid gold again. Like, who knows? I mean, it, it really could just be a, uh, 
Because it's the same thing right that happened last year and the year before that, where like has Brady lost his touch. And like he's but a, they started at the beginning of the season, and now we're like what mid season? Mid season, but we we're still ten and one. Yeah. Like so, like as much as it's like, man, Brady, you're sucking it up. But apparently, that I read an article where they're saying the Ravens look like they're gonna make it. Dude, yes. And the Patriots won't. It looks like the Ravens are gonna make it. And I don't know. Ravens are nine and two. Still close enough to make it. Yeah, they're close enough to make it. Uh, 49ers are uh, 10 and 1 as well. Mm. So there is no, the win streak is over for everybody. There is no undefeated team this season. Yeah, they got their 10, they got their loss the same week we got our loss, and they got their 10th the same week we got ours. So I'm excited. Like, I'm excited to see these guys play. Yeah, this is a good guys. season. I haven't even been able to watch that many games, but like Dude, this has been a Green really good Bay season. Green Bay has thrown me through because they also have a chance of going up there too. So let's see how Green Bay does. Yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm really excited but, about that. Anyway, so I'm going to try to get us on track because you're over what? here throwing <laughs> random stuff at me. Yeah. Uh, so we were, we were talking earlier, and honestly, I don't entirely remember what we were talking about. I know we were talking about Star Wars. We were talking about the fact that this new... Okay, basically, everyone hated 1 and 2. And 3 kind of brought it and felt like it was a better movie. Like I still have my gripes with it. Oh, yeah, I still have, I still have plenty Can of things to Can we talk spoilers about, about 3? Yeah, I mean, I hope no one has not seen 3. No, I don't want to talk spoilers about 3, then. What do you mean? <laughs> well, just because, you know, I mean, we don't have that big of an audience, and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the people that watch our show haven't haven't actually seen it yet. I so I will baffled. I will start by saying that I think that you should watch four, five, and six before you watch one, two, and three. Curious. Well, no, you're not curious. Curious don't watch one, two, and three. Right. Uh, you, do you think they watch in seven, eight? Purist? Yeah. No. You think they just stopped at uh, four, five, and six? And I it? think a true purist watches four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that for the majority of my time with loving Star Wars, I had seen them all. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'd seen them all, you know, quotes. Yeah. Because now it's different. But for the majority of I mean, my life, right? you still have seen all of them. I still have seen all of them. Except Solo. Still haven't seen Solo. Good movie. I mean, it's terrible the way that they chose to do everything, but it's good movie. But, uh, for the majority of my time, uh, I watched... You know, I watched all of them and everything, and then it hit the point in my life where I was like, man, really, the only good one is four. And so I would just watch four every year. Just four. Why is four the only good one? Because it was the first one. But its story is, eh. It's the concluded. acting is... No, the reason it's it's not that, it's that it's, it's revolutionary to cinema. Nothing like okay. it existed. Then here comes this crazy movie. That it just completely blew people away and everything, and the story <laughs> is concluded where there isn't loose ends. You know, you have those questions of like, man, I wonder what happens next. And Darth Vader goes flying off into space, and you're like, oh, he's not even dead. Oh man, you know. And so there's yeah. a little bit of like a cliffhanger, but it's all wrapped up nice. I mean, you could have uh, left it at the, uh, he died when he got flung out to space. Right, he could have died. Yeah. Right, but so it's it's a nice wrapped up story. Somehow we're losing fire now. Um, I guess the only thing is that like. Basically, the Jedi die in that movie. Luke's still alive. Yeah, but he doesn't know how to use the Force. Is that the one that he also loses his hand? Does he lose his hand anymore? No, that's Empire. Okay. He doesn't know how to use the Force. Yeah, no. He doesn't use it at all. No. Well, okay, technically use he uses the force. it. Force. Technically he <laughs> uses it whenever uh, he has his visor down and he's doing a little, like, sword blaster training. He uses the Force there, and then he uses the Force for the final shot, and that's it. Okay. That's the only times he uses the force. So it's like really like, man, what was the force? <laughs> you know, because nobody like they just do mind trick. Then with it would have been a terrible. They just do a mind trick with it. They don't do push pull. They don't do any like actual force. But they just mind trick and then make a shot m- hit. I'm so glad he added the Sith lightning at, for the sixth one. Yeah, that was pretty dope. Yeah, that was just I'm, I'm, I I can I want to be there. I wish I would have been there for the time period when he was like. Gah! Yeah. And you're just like, oh! <laughs> like, how, how much more amazing would that have been to be like, these people are using the Force, but you barely see anything. You start seeing Vader throw stuff, and you're like, okay. That's what the yeah, because in Empire, yeah. In Empire, he's, they actually start using the yeah, Force, like, to like, levitate like, objects, to throw things at each other. Exactly, it's like, that's yeah. what the Force does. And also, you see this guy who's just like, I don't do any of that. I levitated yeah. <laughs> now. No, that's, that's, the, that's, that's three. Spoiler. That's three. <laughs> hey, you see what that said three, they wouldn't have known. 
Yeah, it's three. I hope, seriously, people have watched at least four, five, and six. I, I would assume that most people have, but, like, it's still one of those movies where not everyone has seen it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. But, okay, so, to go on with that point, so, we were basically just saying that, what is this new movie series going to do? With eight, seven and eight, garbage. I don't care what your opinion is, it's garbage. But... <laughs> Nine could be our three for this one, as you said. Like, I kind of think it might be. Like, J.J. Abrams come back, and we know that how terrible he is at wrapping things up. Yep, he's but, not good at conclusions. But he's That's still, why he had that whole TED Talk about the mystery box. Because yeah. he's like, my entire his entire job was that he got hired to make the first movie, to literally just set the stage and then walk away and let someone else and figure it Ryan out. And then Ryan Johnson, either a hero or a terrible human being, I think he's a hero. opinion. I think he's a hero. I think he saw it. I think we really dis- dismantled that and it was like, nothing matters. All of this is shit. Here we go. So then now we have nine because they were like, okay, okay, John, Ryan Johnson, either you are a terrible human being or you hate Star Wars. That's their way of looking at it. Not yes. Ours, that's yes. Man. So they got rid of him and brought in. Back, brought back to J.J. Abrams because right. they're like we don't know what to do with what yeah. the, he just gave they us. They didn't even they even cut the third director because it was a different director for each movie yep. and they cut him but, and said J.J. come like, back and finish this. Or maybe he was just like I have that. Maybe they, they had a consulting group they're like what do we do? And he's like well I have something we can do with this. This is the only one of this trilogy that they've consulted George Lucas. So it's going to be god awful? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. When I heard that, when I heard that news or read that article or whatever, I was like, that doesn't mean anything, <laughs> right? Because it's like you're asking George Lucas to come in and try and give you some advice on how to fix this crappy Star Wars story you've made, and it's like, what what do you expect him to do? Like, did you see? Did you not see his? <laughs> yeah, where Episode Three was saved by Spielberg. Like, oh they should have okay. asked Spielberg. Four, five, and six was saved by Spielberg, and and uh, freaking. George Lucas' wife. Mm -hmm. So really, like, they should bring those two in for the movies. Yeah. They should be like, hey, Spielberg and George's ex-wife, can (laughs) Can you you guys guys come fix this real fast? Yeah, fix Star Wars, because you know it better than George. (laughs) They at least understand how a little bit of science works. They understand a little bit of how, like, you would... Oh, but science isn't important in Star Wars. Science is not important, but it is important if you're going sci-fi. It's not sci-fi, though. It is It's sci-fantasy. Sci is all that matters in that. <laughs> it's not science fiction, it's science fantasy. It's science drama. There's space wizards. There's, it's a space drama. It's a space opera, yes. It's a drama opera, exactly. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. I'll go we with agree. That. We do agree. I'm just but, saying that it's not a science fiction. Uh, yeah, Star no, Trek I, is a science fiction. How is Star Trek a science fiction? Because you focus more on the technology and how things work and stuff like that. Well, yeah, on this other one. You, and Star, Star Wars, Wars does you it. You literally focus on the characters. It's right. about the family, it's about... Yes. Which I guess makes it an opera, yeah. Right. Exactly. It's not a. It's not a science fiction. They. They should have. I don't know. But anyway. So maybe nine will save the movie. If you have opinions on it, that'd be awesome to hear. If you don't, let's talk about something else. Send us a subject. We would love to hear you guys be like, hey, talk about this. What's your favorite thing? That's that's something I want to know. Yeah, I want to hear some more stuff from the fans. Yeah. Like, what's your favorite thing? The ones who are watching this, please start commenting. It'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. It'd and be- not just you, Maddie. I don't care if Maddie comments too. No, no, Maddie can comment. I'm just saying, like, not just Matt. Come on, guys. I know there's yeah. other people watching this. The rest of you, when well, you're watching it, give us your opinion. What, what would you like us to talk about in our zany, weird way of talking? Which is. Is it zany? Is it zany? I mean, I'm a little zany. It's probably zany. Yeah. I mean, it's not super wacky, but it's zany. It's probably incoherent. Oh, just over here battling away. <laughs> just spitting it out. Oh, dude, we have a skit we can talk about. Not the actual skit, but guys, there's a video coming out because we've talked about skits and we, yeah. the fact that we wanted to. We finally filmed one. Yeah. That was this a teaser? To, yeah. Well, All right. Yeah, I'm excited to for you guys to watch it. It's, what, maybe two, three minutes long? Yeah. So it'll be the easiest thing for you guys to digest. Yeah, it's way shorter than any of the other stuff <laughs> we've done, that's for sure. And maybe the other ones will probably stay about that way, but oh. based on how you guys view it, let us, I would just like to know. Like so then should we go into the our idea for what the skits are? No, then no, if we're breaking no, this wall. No, we're not breaking it down. We're but, breaking a wall, though. Yeah, we're breaking the wall. We're breaking the wall, so should we go into what the idea is, since we're, we're, we're about to have a first sketch, 
should we just break the wall of what our idea for like not the sketch, but like what the sketches are? Should we just break that wall right here? No, no, no. I, I think it's. I think I still think it'd be better for them to just see it and firsthand view it. So like they have nothing. They have no clue what's gonna happen. They have no clue what the storyline is for it. Cause all these. Well, we'll say this. We can say this. All the sketches are a coherent storyline. Maybe not coherent. They're all one yeah. storyline. I don't know. Let's not set ourselves up. <laughs> yeah, we don't have one. every single one planned out already. Yeah, we have like five. Uh, maybe? Roughly. Yeah, roughly. About if you five. include the one we filmed. Yeah, yeah. we have roughly Probably about five, five uh, planned out for a storyline. Maybe some of the other ones will keep going into the storyline as well. Maybe they won't. Maybe we'll just do random skits. But we're hoping you guys will enjoy these. And let's move on to the next segment because I don't know what time it is and what we have left. But that was the Star Wars rant that I wanted. The, really, it was just me babbling yeah. about Star Wars. Well, so now that uh, that you're done with that, the actual topic at hand for Star Wars was we were going to talk about what we would do different. Not with the... We have to take one through six as they are. Okay, as they what are. What we would do different about seven, eight, and nine, about this next trilogy. Because I've had a lot of things that I've realized that I think that okay. would have been better. Okay, I want to hear yours first. Because I have an opinion on I want to hear yours first. All right, fine. I have a feeling mine is going to be a lot more long-winded than yours. <laughs> so you should go first, and then right. we'll start the next episode with me. Mine is pretty simple. I would keep seven. All right? I'm fine with it. I'm almost honestly fine with the Ryan Johnsons going on it with nothing matters. Oh, can I interrupt you? Yeah. Okay, so I meant to say this earlier, and then we kind of got a little bit away from it. But okay. now that you've mentioned Ryan Johnson again, I want to say my opinion on Ryan Johnson is I think he's actually the ultimate Star Wars fan. He might be. I think he Just loves Star Wars it. as much as everybody else. And then whenever Disney bought it and was like, we're going to make 21 movies, one every year for the next 20 plus years. They take it that back. You know? Exactly. They took it back. They fucked because of so Ryan. Hard. Because of Ryan. Maybe. And Kathleen Kennedy. But because of Ryan. Terrible human being. So, like, the thing is, I think I Ryan Johnson was like, oh, I have this opportunity to write the Star Wars movie. So he's like, okay, well, I'm going to cut all the ties. I'm going to ruin Luke Skywalker. I'm going to ruin all this stuff. I'm going to just dead halt, like, cut the movies off and just screw it up. And everyone's going to hate it so because that, this is not the way Star Wars should be so done. So therefore we can get a better Star Wars, maybe? Exactly. Maybe, dude, maybe nine. Uh, the way that I would go with it, all right? Exactly. I think he's the ultimate fan. Because I would actually keep it at the way that we have seven and eight, all right? Terrible movies, right? Come in with nine and basically kill off every person that's not important, not relevant to, this, to the Star Wars lore. And not even Star Wars lore, because I don't care if we kill off everything that's We are making new lore. Exactly. So we kill off everybody that's important to Anakin, Luke, all of that. Kill off Leia, kill off everybody, and we start fresh with a whole brand new family. Whole brand new world. Maybe even have the Force less used like we had in four, like, uh, 4, 5, and 6. And like, because it's less and less people. Okay. And we start actually focusing on the world itself. Okay. So this isn't my this isn't my thing, but I actually really liked this take on it. Okay. This is also not what I would do, but I like the take and I respect it. Okay. Uh, Prather. Yeah. Right? So when I asked Prather about what he thought the Star Wars the direction Star Wars needed to go, I, I really loved his idea. Because he was like, Okay, so based on the end of, of eight or whatever where you see like a kid use the force. Yeah. Right? Like they're playing with Star Wars and then he uses the force to bring a broom over to him or whatever. And like just some random kid. Yeah. And the point being that it's like, oh, anybody Everybody can use has the, force. the force. We all have the force. Right. Because we do. We all have the force. I mean, he said that in some the Some people just that. learn how to actually use it. Um, so his thing was, he was like, I think they should just go all out with that. As in, and like, then, like, everyone everybody... should start using the force. Everybody should get in tune with it. And, this that and, that. and I was like, okay, I really did that because that would be like the old <laughs> Republic. Right. So yeah. originally there was the Sith and Jedi Wars, where, like, there was hundreds of thousands on both sides on both using sides the Force side. against each other. It was I a think huge it was even conflict. because we had yeah. planets. Huge conflict, people. right? And then eventually they all just killed each other until it was down to what it is now, where there's the, there was the Jedi Temple, but then eventually the Sith using the Rule of Two, they came and used blah, blah, blah. So we would, we would be resetting the whole thing to go back to the Old Republic, where all of a sudden everyone's in tune with the Force again. And I think that would be pretty cool. To, to, like, to where, like, start setting up the next thing the where it's like is everyone that, is using the Force. The idea is that the Rule of Two kind of made it to where the, everyone's, that the Sith was hogging a lot of the Force, and then the Jedis were hogging, like, when we come down to, like, a couple of Jedis, they were, Because like, then it turned into Rule of Two the, for yeah, each. They start drawing and in then, all the Force. And then it explodes out to now everyone uses because the Because you think about it, Anakin's a rift in the Force. Yep. Sidious has to be a rift in the Force. It can't just be from the simple grooming of a Sith, right? Like, that, that, that's insane. That's insane, because he, he was super strong 
before he became a Sith. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like he's also a Rift. Because he showed up and, like, if you read his, the Plagueis book, he literally starts emitting electricity. He, like, the way they describe it, he's, he became a storm in the cockpit and just killed every one of his mem family members, the guards, everything, without knowing how to use the force. I haven't read that book. You should, because I haven't read that book. I read the Plagueis books, but I didn't read, I didn't read the Palpatine books. No, 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 the, that, that's in the Plagueis book. It's because he says he's like, when he's talking to Plagueis, he's like, I, I was a storm. He's like, I... He's like, I don't know what happened. And I don't he's just remember like, that part. Shh. Crap. I don't remember that the, part. That part's fucking beautiful. Yeah. To me, that's where I was like, maybe he's also a Rift. That's why he's as powerful as he is. It's because he's not a standard, I have the Force. Because no one in his family has it. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden, he just, I have the Force. So in conclusion, in conclusion, uh, I like Prather's idea. Yeah, that that's a everything, idea. everything comes, it goes back to the old days, where all of a sudden now every there's massive amounts of people who use the force and they reignite the Sith Jedi Wars, essentially. And then we go forward from there. But okay. So, we'll see you next week where we're gonna deep dive into what we think these new trilogies should be. Leaving okay. one, one through six alone, because yeah. they're set in stone as it is. But since Disney's accu ac accusation, accu acquisition, acquisition, acquisition. Yeah. since Disney's acquisition, what they should have done. So we'll see you next week as uh, we deep dive into what our thoughts are. And I think yeah, you're gonna so find start with seven and eight, and then move on from there. Yeah, and I think you're gonna I think you're gonna find mine really interesting. I'm gonna teaser it. Uh, Harry Potter. Space wizards. <laughs>